Hello, Gemini. I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do the reading how your person feels towards you. So we're going to look at the person on your mind, Gemini. This is only for the ones that are interested to see what's going on with their love interest. Oops, what is this? Nine of Swords. I'm going to leave this, which is such a Gemini energy, but there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking, a lot of stress going on with you or your person. Okay, Gemini. So in this reading, and keep in mind, guys, these are pretty general, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Uh, we're going to look at their feelings towards you, Gemini. Again, think of a person that you have in mind. Their feelings towards you, action, and we're looking at October. The action that they would like to take towards you. We will see how they view you. What are the challenging challenges that they are facing right now when it comes to this connection what they love best about you what are they hoping for when it comes to you what they don't like best about you the true intentions where are you mutually at and what do they see the best possible outcome with you for october for those that are interested in the extended you can find the link in the description box below it's going to be you versus them and we're going to look at the connection and um, how you mirror each other in the extended all right, so this is Gemini's love interest, please, for October. One more. Gemini, Sun, and Rising, Venus, please. The person on your mind. Very tight. Okay, um, they're they're feeling very much here isolated. Um, they feel like you know there's this energy of going within themselves. Always when I get the hermit, it's just someone that is trying to figure out what is going on. Uh, so very, I will say we will clarify a little bit, you know, after we do all the the cards here a little bit more. But at the moment, it's just they're trying to find a lot of answers, complex situation going on here. Um, very introverted energy when it comes to their feelings. They're not being very active. They're just searching. They're going within themselves and trying to figure out. That's also because their actions with the Page of Swords, they may be watching you. Um, they want to send a message. They're very curious. So I feel like your, your person as well here thinks, remember with the Nine of Swords, they have all these thoughts and they're trying to figure their, these thoughts out. The Page of Swords can be a, a, a message curious energy can be a little bit immature in their sense of what do I need to do because here we have wisdom and maturity and kind of you know trying to figure out and when it comes to their actions that I don't know if they're afraid again to to act too quickly so I will say if they do contact you it's just kind of you know quick what are you doing what's up or something like that nothing you know deep with a page of swords mostly I feel like they're just planning to watch um, you know and see what's going on they do the view towards you, though, is very uh, all about happy thoughts, uh, reconciliation, wanting to be together They uh, with you. They enjoy your companionship. That's their view here, someone that is fun to be around, reconciliation and happy thoughts. The challenge is, is the six of wands. When this is coming here, again, is someone that is not being very much forthcoming. Um, they feel like, again, someone is not getting the attention. They may feel like you have... You know, you get the attention from other people. There's a little bit insecurity, I have to tell you, with your person. Because the Six of Wands is a very confident card, very proudful, unless there's pride uh, going on. This being the challenge, someone is, is concerned about their image, about getting the attention and the recognition here when it comes to you being very bold, confident, and chasing after a certain situation. So that since they are coming as very isolated, this chasing of being very much upfront is something that challenges them. So I'm going to say a little bit of insecurity going on there. But th what they love best about you is the will of fortune. So again, they, they have a, cer a certain sense of faded energy with you. I, I feel like you are a person that goes with the flow, always optimistic, always looking at the bright side of a situation, and that's what they love best. The Knight of Pentacles is what they're hoping for. They want some type of action towards you, even if it starts as friendship, something that, again, this knight here wants things to be predicted. Some of you may be dealing strong with Virgo energy here as well. Again, I have all the other signs as well, most of the signs, so do not focus just on that. But um, it's just they want something here to be predicted. They're hoping that, again, there's this 
roadway or this pathway action towards you that is going to come in because maybe that they also want you to take action they're hoping you take actions towards them in a more consistent type of way now what they don't like is the eight of pentacles so i feel like efforts efforts is not being put in or i feel like maybe they feel like you are um multitasking or doing other things here we will see when we clarify the eight of pentacles and other virgo energy this is what they don't like best about you i like the eight of pentacles but it's coming in a negative uh, position so maybe some type of you know overworking here or you work together or there's certain things that they feel like you're not putting because remember they're hoping for something consistent here gemini they want some type of consistency going on and their true intentions towards you is the justice they want to do things fairly they want balance uh it may be for some of you some type of legal matters here but overall they want things to be fair well balanced libra energy that's what their intentions and to me to have the intentions as justice is someone here that again you can count that always will look at things um in a fair way or balanced way diplomatic way now both of you want uh, it's interesting because they're hoping for the knight of pentacles here but both of you have the knight of wands which is you know this kind of i'm going for it pathway of impulsive bold charismatic it's prince charming type of energy so both of you have chemistry and desire but something again of insecurity here or uh, consistency is getting in the way you both may be very impulsive when it comes to each other or want certain things to come quicker because what they're hoping oh, i'm sorry what they see possible here Sagittarius and Sagittarius I this is fire but always I feel like it, it gives me that kind of adventurous type of night situation they um what they see possible is communication and things picking up very very quickly between the two of you that's what they see possible so it's very very nice they think that things are gonna come quickly this is the interesting part though again there's something about um uh, things happening quickly fast and also hoping again there's something more secure at the same time here as well between the two of you okay why is the hermit as um how much you guys can hear me why is the hermit here as their feelings? One more. Hmm. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to uh, come forward with the chariot, what uh, direction to come in. So they may feel distant again. They may feel isolated. There, there's no progress. There's no movement. But mm, overall here, I feel like they're trying to figure out. They need time to figure out when it comes to their feelings and what is this, you know, movement forward towards you. What is the page of sword? One more. Oh, wow, the ten of swords. The nine of swords is here as anxiety and overthinking. They wanna. They're very curious again to to talk to you to um, open up or say something, but with the ten of swords, which is sun in Gemini they're afraid they're afraid here of certain things that is it the ending is my message here never going to be sent or you know whatever i said here. There, there may be some type of hurtful words as well immaturity and careless actions when it comes to speaking uh with their actions and maybe again this is what kind of makes them careful here to come forward but i'm, I'm getting some type of stinging words or i'm getting some type of afraid here to come forward because of what is this painful ending they view you as the three of cups okay so let's see this three of cups one more independent lovely again someone here that i keep getting that you uh, that kind of individuality here that you hold that independence again unless some of you here are um not alone that you are surrounded remember there's something about insecurity here i don't know if you uh, they feel like you are there's two cases for some of you again i want to see because they're waiting for some justice that nine of pentacles and the three of cups so i do again look at the cards as someone very independent very well off enjoying their time i don't know if they they look at you as someone that does not want to settle down or is not entirely again completely single 
with that combination. That's how they view you. What is this six of wands? One more. Mm, the King of Cups, Master of Cups, Scorpio, Fortune of Your. Okay. So the challenge is here with the King of Cups and Six of Wands is again someone not sure here to come forward with declaration of love opening up. I keep getting that uh, someone is very very insecure about opening up their feelings. What is this? Oh, there's a card. One more. There's a card that fell, so Pisces energy there. Keep getting that there's some type of flirtatious energy, but someone is not opening up. It's like holding back. It's holding back their emotions, especially again if they view you with this energy. I can understand that. You know, they're not sure here where you stand, or if they can release this, um, or listen to their intuition and be bold enough and confident enough to, to come forward. It's like this is what is challenging them, Gemini. They're not sure, again, about someone's feelings or um, how to come forward. Should they listen to their intuition or not? This, too, to me, is someone that is, you know, free to go, adventurous, flirtatious. But I'm getting that with the King of Cups and the High Priestess. This is someone that is really holding back those emotions and not expressing them. Okay, so why they love the Wheel of Fortune best about you? One more. They believe that you guys are, again, things are turning around here where you're, if you are in separation, you're going to meet optimistically here again, waiting for things to come. Uh, I feel like I was going to say, you know, ashore, but I'm getting that they feel a certain energy here and expectations, positive expectation, faded expectations when it comes to both of you. That They feel like certain things are going to come in and will change everything. So they, again, that optimism of what is about to happen. It's like you set those intentions, you wait for those things to come here and very much flowing here, uh, unfolding uh, in a natural way type of situation. That's what they love best. Okay, um, I feel like you and your person, or your person mostly here, wants to be with you, wants to have commitment. Remember the three of wands, I feel like what they love best is that they believe, again, that there is some type of reunion or there's something here that both of you are good together, that, you know, things will change. Because uh, the Three of Wands was here and the Four of Wands fell. So that's what they love best about you. A turnaround here of things coming uh, where you both can have your family or commitment or... Um, Engagements. What is the Knight of Pentacles here? One more. They're hoping for someone to, to take, you know, it's a very taming energy uh, because the Knight of Pentacles and the Strength card, which no matter it's fiery, but I feel like someone here is trying to tame themselves because remember, both of you have this passionate wanting you know to go forward with whatever you want and whatever the consequences so again they're hoping or for themselves or for you that someone will take the courage here but again with the intentions of not doing something that feels like oh i cannot con control myself or um i have the power here and still i can go through this in a very much methodical uh, way so they want consistency and they want strength they want here um that kind of last in a way to be controlled and I'm saying last or chemistry and passion here. What is this eight of pentacles that they, they don't like best about you? The eight of pentacles, please. One more. I keep getting that there's something um, with a heartbreak. I feel like there's, remember with the nine of pentacles, they view you as that. Independent, the Eight of Pentacles, as I mentioned, is something here about working and putting effort and skills. But 
I don't know if it's because of work or some type of effort that there's been some type of separation here between the two of you or disappointing news. Like I feel like maybe someone never got the answer or someone was cut off here because of other things that needed to improve. But this is what they don't like. Remember, this person wants to come forward. They may be isolating themselves. They're coming with the actions here of, uh, of to say something that has been hurtful. But they do have a uh, certain image or insecurity of how do I open up my heart here? Do I tell them what I uh, feel? Do I, uh, you know, kind of, you know, flirt here, send a message? That eight of pentacles is like something did not work out. And because of this or the efforts of someone's efforts, it's just there was a separation, a brutal separation there. I feel like maybe someone did not give it time for things to improve. What is the justice? One more. Yeah, they want a fair chance. They really want a fair chance. They're balancing this and their intentions are all about whatever it is that they have to do right or, again, the situation when it comes to connection. They're just looking for something steady, an opportunity that has longevity. In this situation what is the justice and the ace of pentacles one more okay, what I, uh, they they want to fight fairly i feel like the obstacles the challenges you know they're going back and forth and the intentions is to make it right whatever the struggles that has been and give it an opportunity here a chance what is the knight of wands mutually one more. Oh, okay. You really are curbing. And I keep getting that, you know, that animal desire here or the, the, the passions are being very much moderated between the two of you. You want to act quickly, but you keep like, you know, going and balancing this and waiting and healing. The chemistry is strong, but you both are trying to tame it. The desires are strong, I feel like, again, especially them. What is this Eight of Wands? Okay, for some of you, it's someone from the past or a Scorpio. There's too many cards that fell, so I'm going to look at what it is. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's see, what is this? What is this eight of wands? That's what they see possible with you for October. <clears throat> Which I like it. <clears throat> Let's see them. One more. Ooh, okay. The eight of wands and the ten of wands. The knight of cups is here with the magician and the eight of wands. It looks like they feel like whatever burdens or, you know, this destiny, this completion that you both are trying to go towards is finally coming to that uh, end, to that completion. So I feel like conversation here, obstacles, challenges are, are being surpassed. Remember the seven of wands comes be before the eight of wands. So I feel like challenges and obstacles and blockages are finally here. Yeah, there's a lot of heaviness there, but it's almost to the point of the finish line. So they know that things are going to get moving between the two of you here for October, especially when it comes to messages. Um, and whatever this painful situation happened. That's why right now they're isolating, they're feeling isolated, they're trying to figure out which direction to come towards you. Um, I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, we'll see what's going on with the extended. Thank you, bye-bye.